Okay, we've seen methyl orange change to red in the presence of an acid between one and three. We've seen bromthymol change to uh, yellow in the presence of an acid between one and five. So it changed one, three, and five. And now we're going to test phenolphthalein. You remember in our original test that phenolphthalein was the very last one, these two. And so phenolphthalein is this guy right here. You remember the color of phenolphthalein is clear. So we're looking to see where there was a change. You can see there was a change at the base end. So let's look at the base end. We're going to do all of them, like the instructions say. But So we're going to add one drop of phenolphthalein to wells 1 through 7. All right, and then we're going to add our drops of pH again. So pH 1. We're looking for a change. pH 3. pH 5. pH 7. pH 9. Magic of chemistry, folks. pH 11. And the last one, pH of 13. All right. So where do you see the changes for phenolphthalein? You see the changes in these three wells. And so this is 9, 11, and 13. So we could say the range or phenolphthalein was between 9 and 11. I'm sorry, 9 and 13. So 9, uh, 11, and 13. The range would be between 9 and 13. And those are bases. So we know that phenolphthalein reacts when it sees a base, or when it touches a base, as long as that base is between 9 and 13. Nothing happened at 7. So we know phenolphthalein does not detect bases below 9. And it doesn't detect bases above 13 that we can see because we don't have a 14 here to test. But actually the range, the top of the range is 13. So what's the range for th phenolphthalein? It is 9 to 13. And that's where it changed to magenta.